Hi everyone, Artist Perry here, again with another art project to draw. Today, we're going to do George Harrison from the Beatles. Last time we did John Lennon. So I, I have a, a little sketch of him. So basically what you're going to do, you need a paper and a pencil. You're going to make a circle. This is really pretty much a perfect circle. After that, right down the middle, you're going to make his, his part. Then you're going to make a U. And then you're going to do his eyes. You always you know that the, there's an eye right in the middle of a space. The same measurement of the eye. There's a space, the same, in the middle, and then there's the other, the other eye. Okay, that's looking good.
it down. And I'm going to go over where his eyelashes will be. And right here is, is a lot of shade, shadow right here. Kind of comes to a point like that. And part of that as well shades down. And this right here is pretty much dark. Yeah. And here is dark. Okay. is like a shadow and there's a little bit of this coming out like that. So now a little bit of eyelashes. Okay. There's a little bit of darkness right here. Let's see. I want to still see a little bit of the white. Okay. A little bit more maybe. That's better. And then we'll go like this. Down. And down here. Okay. So it comes like a, I guess like an egg almost, the bottom part of an egg. That's going to stay light. Not completely light, but not as dark as I'm going here. I'm going really dark here. So I'm like a little like this. We're going to get it dark, but we like to see that there was, there is a nose. Part. So it's going to get dark, but maybe not as dark as this part here. Okay. Now here is the other part of the mustache. Oh, this is going to get quite dark because it's on the shadow side. So now this would be the, the part of his face, but we're going to get very, we're going to get dark in there, yeah. Okay. Now this side is pretty light. We're going to go like that. So this part is a little dark. Make some lines on his lips. It's going to get darker here. And then a little lighter here. 
and then very light here because that's really where our light is coming right from here you know top lips get a light a light shading and then this side will get a little bit darker of the shading This is a little bit of his, I guess he's got a little cliff in the chin. And then we're gonna shade it down here a little bit. This is shadow as well. So all this is gonna be pretty dark right here in all this and this is the light side Do the mustache. So in here is we're gonna actually try and, and see the the hairs of the mustache that are coming down. Okay. We all live in a yellow submarine. So we have a little shadow here. Kind of goes up and down and see the hairline. But it's shadow. It's really not hair. So it's one shade. And then after that, we'll see some hairs coming out like that this is pretty dark here and then you have a little bit of his ear you have some hairs coming out like that coming down here we go And you have the hair kind of coming like that. Okay. I'm going to give a little bit more definition to the nostril here.
think I need to sharpen my pencil a little bit more. Okay. Well, you know that this is gonna get dark. All well, this part is gonna get really dark. his shirt a little bit. This is his button. So it's it's round and we're gonna leave a little bit of light right in the middle. That's the stitch. It's holding it there. So this is like a, a design on the shirt, these lines. They kind of work their way down as well. Have some light lines there. Remember, this is all shaded in quite dark, but I'm not getting that dark right now. I want to kind of get an idea of where everything else is going so that you can follow me. So this is kind of his Adam's apple right here. That we're gonna try and get. And this is all gonna be dark. Cause it's all in darkness. You might say, oh, why didn't you find a picture that lights up all of his face? I want you to learn how to shade. I want you to, to see the three dimension when you put shadow. Shadow really brings it to life and makes it so much more interesting. So that's why I didn't pick a, a plain just face, lighted face. I wanted to give you a little bit more of a, a challenge, I guess. But something also that you, you can not be afraid of if you ever encounter it again. Shading and shadow make the picture, really. It's much less flat and three-dimensional, and that's really what you're always looking for. Okay, these are some stitches here. Mm -hmm. And there's another line here. Another line down here. The dark lines here. Not quite sure what is here. Maybe a shadow. And now this is going to be all dark as well.
So basically this side gets shaded really dark, okay, and then this you can see a little bit more light, so you'll see more strands. So I don't mind if we see a little bit of light on this side because this is where the light is coming from. But you will still see some dark. a little bit with my eraser I got a few smudges right around here even on my on my table <laughs> a little bit of smudges okay a little bit of here I think he's looking very good. So remember this side is going to be the darker side where you're going to see less of the strands. A few strands but remember that's the darker side. as well. darkness coming in here, darkness in here,
Well, that is our George Harrison. He might want to get a little darker. This also can be dark. I like it very much. I think it came good. What do you guys think? And I think it does look like George, which always makes me very excited because it is hard to have it look like the person you want it to look like. So don't stress out if it doesn't look like George. It's a very hard thing to do. And you need practice. And we will practice more here. I'm thinking I want a little bit more hair here coming out here. Maybe some hairs here. Yeah, okay. Don't forget to sign your masterpiece. Thank you for joining me again. Please put a thumbs up. Tell your friends about this, these classes these drawing instructional videos and I hope to see you back here again real soon for now this is artist Perry saying goodbye have a great day bye